Hey, what is up guys? So today I will be showing you how to look up your temperature on a BMW 335D. Now, for some of you guys that don't know, the 335D was only brought to the US from 2009 to 2011. So this is gonna work for the 09, the 10 and the 11 models. And the first thing you wanna do is you wanna grab your key. You wanna insert your key. Make sure you're not pressing the brake pedal. And the next thing you wanna do is you wanna do the push start once and there we go now you see the second screen now let's wait for this screen to show the time and the date and i'll show you the next step the time and the temperature i mean and the next thing you want to do is you want to press this button and you want to hold it keep holding it keep holding it keep holding it Okay, now you see those numbers, the A266790, you want to take the last five numbers and you want to add them up. In my case, that would be 28. Want to hold it. Now you want to go all the way to number 19. Keep pressing it until you get on, keep pressing it until you reach number 19. Gotta wait. And then just keep pressing it until you reach 28 in my case. It's going to be different for you guys. For all of us, it's going to be different. But you want to reach all the way to 28. Let it go. Press it one more time. And you want to go all the way to number 7. So I skipped it. So we're just going to have to press until we reach number seven again. And you saw number 19 saying that it was off and I skipped it again. So let's go one more time and you're gonna see that number 19 says off. So that means the lock is off. So let's do it one last time and reach number seven. And it's gonna show you the temperature. You see it is at 16 degrees. Now you wanna step on the brake and press your start button. Now, the only thing that sucks about this is that every time you wanna check your temperature, you're gonna have to go through all this process again. Every time you turn off the car and you wanna restart the car, you're gonna have to do the process again. But that's pretty much how you check your coolant temperature on a 335D 2010. Thank you for watching guys, until next time. Now, for those that don't know, there's really not that much information for us 335D owners on repairs and how to change stuff and, or how to do maintenance on this car. So this upcoming videos, I will be showing you how to do all of that stuff. Since there's really not that much information out there, what I wanna do is, I wanna specific, even though some other repairs from other BMWs might apply to this car, every single title, every single video that I will be putting up in the next few weeks it's gonna be all related to the 335D. They may function on other BMW cars, but I'm specifically doing it for the 335D since I wanna provide more information about these cars since pretty much all you can find is how to tune them and not all of us are looking to tune this car. Some of us are just trying to know how to do an oil change, how to replace a battery on this car, how to do regular maintenance stuff, brakes, uh, brake flushes, coolant flushes, how to replace belts and all of that stuff. Now the next videos are gonna be hopefully how to replace the belts on this car, how to replace the radiator fan on this car since mine is bad. And I will be showing you guys how to replace that. Also, probably the next video after this is going to be on how to replace and how to register a battery on this car now thank you for watching guys and have a great one